here's how to fix your account has been disabled in the App Store. Now, if you open up the App Store on your iPhone and it says your account has been disabled, you might see an error that looks like this. Your account has been disabled in the App Store and iTunes. And basically you hit OK. You might be browsing around the App Store. You want to download various apps, games, all of that stuff, but it's just not letting you. There are a few steps that you can go through to definitely get that fixed. So let's hop out of here and open up your settings first. And you're going to tap on your name at the very top. Now, there are a few different things that we can do. One is the first thing we're going to tap on is payment and shipping, the third option down. And you'll see on here, it will have my credit card that's attached to my app store, as well as any kind of shipping address. So you're going to tap on your credit card at the very top of your payment method. And you want to see under billing address that that is the correct address. Keep in mind, it needs to be in the country that's associated with your iPhone and that billing. So say if you're in the United States, you need a United States credit card or a debit card, whatever it may be. And you need a United States address, physical address right there. Now you can go back here, let's tap back, and at the very bottom, you can always enter in that shipping address just to make sure that they do have the correct address on there. So let's go back here. There are a few other things you can do as well. The next thing we'll do is tap on sign in and security. And you can see change password here. So let's tap on that and just go through the steps of changing your password for your iTunes or App Store. Basically, you're going to enter in the password for your phone first, and then you can enter in the new password right here. This will help to authenticate that you actually have control of your account. And basically, if there's any kind of issues with billing or logging in or verification, just by changing your password, that should get all of those fixed. Now, if you go through all these steps and it's still not working, the last thing you can do is just scroll down and hit this sign out button at the very bottom. So you're going to enter in your Apple ID password here. You're going to log completely out of your Apple ID on your phone. And then you're just going to log in again to that same Apple ID. Basically, by going through the step of logging out and logging back in, you'll re-authenticate everything. And then you should be able to go into your app store and buy any apps, make purchases, downloads, all of that stuff. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll catch you on the next one.